With 18 SH0T, Sunday most violent day of long weekend so far. Chicago U Sunday proved the most violent day of the long holiday weekend so far in Chicago, with 18 people shot, according to police and Tribune records. As of noon Monday, 36 people had been shot since Friday afternoon. One person had, in 2018, a total of 39 people were shot, 7 fatally, during the long weekend that serves as the unofficial start to summer, which in Chicago often means a time of heightened violence on the streets. In 27, adding to the high number of shooting victims Sunday were two attacks on the same block of West Hastings Street, at the same housing community, Abla Homes, said Anthony Guglielmi, a police spokesman. A police spokesman Guglielmi said detectives were questioning four people of interest in connection with the 6 a.m. shooting that left three wounded and two dead. As Sunday wore on, the pace of the violence slowed. Between 7 a.m. from midnight Monday to 10 a.m., there had been no shootings in Chicago. That changed when Pol the 26-year-old had gone to the address to make a purchase from someone he contacted through an online retail marketplace, according to authorities. When he arrived, 13 people were shot on Saturday, and 4 people were shot on Friday, according to records. In the Sunday night shooting on Washtenaw, a 25-year-old woman was in critical condition after gunfire cut short a get-together with friends in Logan Square. They were hanging out around 11.30 p.m. when shots were fired and a bullet hit the left side of the woman's neck. She was taken to witnesses said the shooter may have opened fire from the Kennedy Expressway, police said. Two crime scenes surfaced shortly after the shooting one on a playground at Brentano Elementary Math and Science Academy and another at the Diversey Avenue underpass of the Kennedy, on the inbound side. At the first location, yellow police tape hung from the playground's black fence and stretched around the ladder of a play structure. An officer walking a fence separated the campus playground from the Kennedy underpass, where state troopers pulled in to look for shell casings amid the roar of vehicles above. Red crime tape, Illinois State Police deferred inquiries to Chicago police, who did not have updates as of Monday morning on the investigation. The attack brought the holiday weekend toll to 36 people shot, five them fatally. It was the second fa all the fatalities stemmed overnight from Saturday into Sunday morning. Much of the gun by copyright 2019 Chicago Tribune. Visit the Chicago Tribune at www.chicagotribune.com. Distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.